All the students, let's try an interesting lesson. This is unit two, and the title of unit two is Time and Seasons. So this lesson is interesting for you because you are going to learn how to tell the time and uh, how to talk about seasons. So let's get started. Listen and repeat. So you have to listen and repeat. So you're going to hear a recording. Please listen carefully, carefully to it and, and then repeat after the words. Wane, listen and repeat. What time is it? It's a quarter past one. What time is it? It's half past one. What time is it? It's a quarter to two. Okay, please listen again and repeat after the words. Wane, listen and repeat. What time is it? It's a quarter past one. What time is it? It's half past one. What time is it? It's a quarter to two. So in this lesson, you are going to learn how to use a quarter past, half past, and a quarter to. So please look at the first picture. You can you can see a second a second hand and an hour hand on the face of a clock. So this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand, not the second hand. So it's one hour, but uh, you can also see the minute hand is on number three. It means it's a quarter past one. Quarter past one. Okay, so this is the use of a quarter past. A Q U A R T E R a quarter P A S T past a quarter past. If you look at the second picture, you can see the minute hand here. So it's half past. Half past. So it's half past one. Half past one. Okay. Please look at the last picture. And you you can see the the, the hour hand. Here it's pointing to two, it's pointing at two, and you can also see the minute hand here. So it's a quarter to two, it's a quarter to two. R Q U E R T R a quarter to two. So you must remember the use of a quarter past a quarter to. So please convert the two expressions a quarter past and a quarter to and you, you can also learn the use of half past so a quarter past half past and a quarter to one a one b listen and draw the times on the clocks so this time you have to listen to the recording and then you have to draw the times on the on the clocks so you have to draw an hour hand and you, you can also uh, you have to also draw a minute hand. Okay, so let's listen. One B, listen and draw the times on the clocks. One, it's a quarter past three. Two, it's half past seven. Three, it's a quarter to ten. Okay, please listen again. 1B, listen and draw the times on the clocks. 1, it's a quarter past 3. 2, it's a quarter past 3. So I think you heard the, the time. It's a quarter past 3. Okay, so you have to draw uh, the our hand here. So this is the hour hand, a quarter, a quarter past three. Okay, and you can also draw uh, the, the, so please, please imagine that this is the minute hand and you can also draw the hour hand here. But the, the hour hand should be a little shorter. So an hour hand, 
and a minute change. So it shows a quarter past three. And that's again, Joanne. It is half seven. It's half One past. Beat, listen and it's half past seven. Please listen again. One, so quarter past three. Two, it's half past seven. It's half past seven. So you have to draw an hour hand here. And you can also draw a minute hand here. So it shows half past seven. Okay, the last picture. It's a quarter to ten. It's a quarter to ten. So it's a quarter to ten. You have to draw an hour hand and you also have to draw a minute ten here. It's a quarter to ten. Now I think you know how to draw how to draw the times on the clocks. If you have a if you have a clock, not a digital clock, but an analog clock, you can look at the clock and you can uh, tell the time by, by changing the minute and our hands to different directions. Exercise 2E. Listen and draw the times on the clocks. Then uh, write the times in the, as in the examiner. So you have to listen. So please listen to the recording first and then draw the times on the clocks. So you have to draw the times on the clocks. Then I'll write uh, the, the times as in the examiner. For example, it's 3.45, it's a quarter to four. It's a quarter to four. So you need to draw the time and you, you also need to write the times. So please listen. Two way, listen and draw the times on the clocks. Then write the times as in the example. It's 3.45. It's a quarter to four. One. It's 3.30. It's half past three. It's 3.30. It's half past three. So how can you draw the time? It's 3.30. So you have to draw a minute uh, an hour hand like this, and you also have to draw an, uh, a minute hand like this. Okay, so when you write the times, you can write it's, it's 3.30. It's 3, the T, or you can also write, it's half past three. It's half past three. Okay, let's listen to number two. Two, it's 7.15. It's a quarter past seven. It's 7.15. It's a quarter past seven. So you have to draw a minute, uh, an hour hand here. Seven. And this is the minute hand. 7.15. So you can see it's 7.15. Or in words, it's a quarter past seven. It's a Q-U-E-R-T-E-R quarter past S E V E N seven. Okay, three. Three, it's eight forty five. It's a quarter to nine. It's eight forty five. It's a quarter to nine. Eight forty five, a quarter to nine. So, you, you know, for number three, you have to draw like this. This is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. So it's 8.45. It's 8.45. It's a quarter to nine. It's a Q-U-A-R-T-E-R, quarter to nine. Picture four. Four. It's L zero colon 45. It's a quarter to 11. Okay, it's 10.45. The voice is not clear, but you should know that it's 10.45. It's a quarter to 11. 10.45. Uh, 
Okay. This is the uh, hour hand, and this is the minute hand. It's 10.45. In other words, it's a quarter to 11. It's a Q-E-R-T-E-R, -E quarter to E-L-E-V-E-N, 11. Okay, number five. Five is 12.30. It's half past 12. It's 12.30. 12 it's half past 12. This is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. 12.30. It's 12.30. In other words, it's half past 12. The last one. Six is nine fifteen. It's a quarter past nine. It's Two nine fifteen. Listen and draw the time. It's nine fifteen. So you have to draw an hour hand here, and you have to draw a minute hand here. It's nine fifteen. You can write it's nine fifteen, or you can also write it's a quarter. Q U E R T R quarter past nine. So in these examples, or I I think you've learned the use of a quarter past, a quarter to half past. So I think you don't know how to write sentences uh, about the times and how to draw the times on the on the clocks. So let's continue. Two eight. Say three activities that you usually do as in the exam. I usually get up at a quarter past. I usually leave for school. I usually have lunch. I usually go home. I usually go to bed. Okay, and you can also tell the time like that. At a quarter past, at half past, a quarter to. If you don't know how to say the activities, uh, you, you can use the exam sentence. I usually leave for school at half past seven. I usually leave for school at half past seven. This is my habit. This is the time I usually go to school. So you can say, I usually leave for school at half past seven. What about you? When do you usually go to school? For example, if you usually go to school at a quarter to eight, a quarter to eight, you can say, I usually leave for school at a quarter to eight. And when do you usually eat? When do you usually have lunch? You can say, I usually have lunch at uh, half past when? Or uh, perhaps I usually have lunch at uh, half past 11. I usually go home. So when do you usually go home? I usually go home at about, I usually go home at, uh, for example, at a quarter past three. At a quarter past three. I usually go to bed at half past eight, for example. So you can talk about the activities you usually do. Also, uh, please think about the time you usually do the activities and write sentences and then see the sentences. Exercise three, study the diagram and match the times in column A or which the expressions in column B. So you have to study the time. Midnight, this shows midnight, and sunrise, noon, sunset, midnight. Okay, 12 o'clock, sunrise, this is the time the sun rises in, in the east. So 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock. This is a.m. This, this means it's in the morning. And 12, it's noon. And after 12 o'clock and to 12 o'clock. So this is the sunset and this is midnight. So this shows p.m. PM, so it's in the afternoon and it's the evening and it's night. So 
anti -merid, uh, AM refers to anti meridian and PM refers to post meridian. So please think about the time seven AM. How how do you say? How do you say the, the, the time? Is it in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening or at night? So you will know that it's in the morning. How about seven o'clock? It must be noon and or six o'clock, six p.m. It must be evening. So these are the use of the times, and let's let's match column A with column B. Number one, six a.m. What do you think the time is? It's 12 o'clock in the day, 11 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the, in the morning, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 11 o'clock at night, and 12 o'clock at night. So well, what will you choose to match with number one? It match with number C. 6 o'clock in the morning. So 6 a.m. refers to 6 o'clock in the morning. How about 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. means 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So you have to match number two with number E. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. means 11 o'clock at night. So you have to match number three with number F. Noon. Noon refers to the time. 11, uh, uh, sorry, 12 o'clock in the tea. 12 o'clock in the tea. So you have to match number four, which number E. And five, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. means seven o'clock in the morning. So you have to match number five, which number D. And six, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. refers to the time, 11 o'clock in the morning. And the last one, midnight. Midnight means 12 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock at night. So you have to match number seven, which number G. Now, listen and write the times, then write the sentences as in the XML. So please listen to the recording first. Five, listen and write the times. Then write sentences as in the example. I have breakfast at a quarter past seven in the morning. One, I go to school at half past eight in the morning. Two, I have lunch at noon. Three, I have dinner at a quarter to seven in the evening. Four, I do my homework at half past eight in the evening. Okay, please listen again. Five, listen and write the times. Then, write sentences as in the example. I have breakfast at a quarter past seven in the morning. She said, I have breakfast at a quarter past seven in the morning. So you have to write 7.15 a.m. How about number one? One. I go to school at half past eight in the morning. You go to school at half past eight in the morning. So when you write the time, you have to you have to write half past eight, eight thirty in the morning. So please try it AM. Two, I have lunch at noon. We have lunch at noon. I have lunch at noon. Noon means 12 o'clock. 12 noon. Three, I have dinner at a quarter to seven in the evening. We have dinner at a quarter to seven in the evening. A quarter to seven, this means 6.45 p.m. A quarter to seven in the uh, in the evening. Okay, the last trial. Four. I do my homework at half past eight in the evening. 
and do my homework at half past eight in the evening. So you have to write eight thirty p.m. Okay. So you've listened to the recording, but please remember you have to write sentences as well. So let's look at the first one. She said, "I go to school at half past eight in the morning." So did you hear that? If you did, you have to write the sentence. I go to school at half past eight in the morning. This is number one. So I'll write it here. I go to school at half past eight, H-E-L-F, half uh, past eight, B-A-S-T, past E-N-G-S-T-H, in the morning. Number two, what did she say? She said, I have lunch at noon. I have lunch at noon. So please try it out. I have lunch at noon. Number three, what did she say? I have dinner at a quarter to seven in the evening. A quarter to seven in the evening. She said, I have dinner at her. Q U A R T E R quarter to seven in the evening. Number four. What did she say? I do my homework at half past eight in the evening. I do my homework at half past eight in the evening. So you have to write it down. I do my homework. H O M E W O R K homework at half past. H in there in the evening. So after listening to the recording, you have to write these sentences. Now, write sentences about three activities you do at school as in 4A. So in exercise 4A, you have to listen to the to the activities she did. And you also need to write three sentences about the activities you do at school. So you can say, I studied the lessons. I studied the lessons at, for example, I studied the lessons at 9.30 or half past nine in the morning. I play with friends at a quarter past 11 in the morning. I, I I I explained the lessons to my friends. I explained the lesson to my friends at uh, a quarter to three in the afternoon. I'm really wanna. So you can you can write these sentences, and you can also write other activities to teach at school. So when you write the sentences. Uh, you don't need to to think about a specific activity. You can write the sentences as you like. Look at the pictures and see the activities. Uh, when you look at the pictures, uh, you can see the activities. And the branch name is Neu. He said, "I'm Neu. This is my daily routine. I usually get up at half past six in the morning. So." Half past 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. When you look at the picture, you can find that he gets up. And the, the, the time he gets up, it's 6.30 a.m. So he can say, I usually get up at half past 6 in the morning. Please look at the second picture. What's he doing? He's going to, he's going to school. And the time is 8.30 a.m. In other words, it's half past 8 in the morning. So you can say, I always go to school. I always go to school at half past eight in the morning. So for the first one, you can say, uh, Hi, I'm new. This is my daily routine. I usually get up at half past six in the morning. And for the second picture, you can say, I always go to school at half past eight in, in the morning. 8.15 a.m. So what's he doing? He's having his breakfast. So this means I always have my breakfast at 
a quarter past eight in the morning. I always have my breakfast at a quarter past eight in the morning. 6.30 p.m. So when you look at the picture, you can see that he's tarrying or he's doing the, his homework. So you can say, I usually do my homework at half past six in the evening. I usually do my I usually do my homework at half past six in the evening. Nine forty five p.m. This means a quarter to ten. So where is he now? He's in bed now and he's asleep. So you can say I usually go to bed at a quarter to ten in the uh, quarter to ten at night. I usually go to bed at a quarter to ten at night. 3.15 p.m. This means a quarter past three. What's he, what's, what's he doing? When you look at the picture, uh, you, you can know that he is returning home. So he's leaving from, from school. So you can say, I usually go home at a quarter past three in the afternoon. I usually go home at a quarter past three in the afternoon. And 7.45 are a quarter to eight, a quarter to eight. So what's he doing? He's taking a bath or he's having a bath. So you can say, I usually take a bath at a quarter to eight in the morning. I usually take a bath at a quarter to eight in the morning. And 12 noon, I usually have lunch at 12, 12 at noon. I usually have lunch at noon. Look at the pictures in 5A. So you've looked at the pictures in 5A and you have to complete the sentences as in the exam. I usually go home at a quarter past three in the afternoon. I usually get up at blank in the morning. So what time does he, uh, what time does he usually get up in the morning? If you look at the picture, you will know that uh, he gets up at half past six. Half past six. So you have to write half past six. If you are not sure of the answer, you can look at the pictures again. Three, I usually have my breakfast at blank in the morning. So what time does, what time does he always have breakfast? At quarter past eight. So you have to write a quarter past eight for number three. Before I always leave for school at blank in the morning. So when does he usually leave for school? At half past eight. So you have to write half past eight. And number five, I usually do my homework at blank in the blank. So what time does he usually do his homework? Half past six. So I usually do my homework at half past six. At half past six in the evening. Number six. I usually have lunch at 12 o'clock, but you have to say noon. Seven. I sometimes go to bed at blank at night. So what time does he uh, does he go, go to bed? At uh, a quarter to ten. A quarter to ten. A Q U E R T E R. A quarter to ten. And number eight. I usually take a bath at blank in the blank. So at a quarter to eight in the morning. A quarter to eight. A Q U E R T E R. A quarter to E N G H T eight in the morning. Sorry, in there, you, you just need to write morning, M-O-R-N-I-N-G, morning. Now you've completed completed the sentences. But when you read the sentences, you will know that they are not in the correct order. So you need to order the sentences. Order the sentences in 5B from morning to night. So according to the timeline, you have to arrange, you have to rearrange the sentences. So the first one should be, Number two, so I usually get up at half past six in the morning. So after you have uh, 
got app, what will you do? So you will have a bath or you will take a bath. So you can say, I usually take a bath uh, at a quarter to eight in the, in the morning. So they may, this must be the second trend. After having a bath, after taking a bath at a quarter to eight in the morning, what, what will you do? So you will have breakfast. So the sentence must be, I always have my breakfast at a quarter past eight in the morning. For, for the fourth one, you have to write number four. I always leave for school at half past eight. This is a quarter past eight. Uh, after a quarter past, the time must be half past eight. So I, I always leave for school at half past eight in the morning. And then I usually have lunch at noon. So you have to you have to write number six. So when you are at school, you have to have lunch and usually have lunch at noon. And the next one must be number one. I usually go home at a quarter past three in the afternoon. So you have had your lunch and you have to reach the lessons and it's time to uh, it's time you went home. So you can say, I usually go to, I usually go home at a quarter past three in the afternoon. And uh, the next one might be number five. I usually do my homework at half past six in the evening. So when you are at home, you have to do your homework and you can say, I usually do my homework at half past six in the morning. So after you have done your homework and after you have studied your lessons, what do you need to do? You need to go to bed. So the answer must be number seven. I usually go to bed at a quarter to 10 at night. So you have rearranged the sentences correctly. Exercise 6A. Write the activities are you usually do every day and draw the times you do them on the clocks. So get up. So get up. So you, you get up at half past six. And the next one. So please draw at the time. Uh, for example, half past six. And then at seven o'clock. So you can say at seven o'clock, I have my breakfast. A quarter past eight. I, I I leave for school at a quarter past eight. So these are just some answers. You can write or you can draw the time as you like, and you can write the activities are usually two. And for number four, you can say. Hmm. So, I have lunch at noon. I go home at our uh, half past three, for example. I go home at half, half past three and a quarter to five. I play with my friends at a quarter to five. Or you can say, I play football with my friends at a quarter to five. I have lunch. I'm oh, sorry. I have dinner at uh, I, I have dinner with my family at a quarter a quarter past six. I do my homework at uh, a quarter to eight. For example, so these are just examples. You can write the act activities as you like. So depending on your time table, you should draw the time on the clocks. So don't worry about anything. Just draw and tell the activities as to do.
exercise six B. Write about your daily routine using the times and exercise in six A. So in exercise six A, you have written your daily routine. Now please combine your daily routines into a paragraph, and this can this this must be your daily routine. So you can say, I usually get up at half past six in the morning. I have breakfast at seven o'clock, or you can say, I have breakfast at a quarter past seven in the morning. I leave of early for school at half past eight. I have lunch at noon, and I go to school. Uh, sorry, I go to home. I go back home, or I go home at half past three in the e in the afternoon, and I play with my friends at about or uh, a quarter to four in the uh, in the evening. So you can write your active daily routines as you like and write your paragraph. This is for your writing skill. So now you have practiced your listening skill, your speaking skill, and your writing skill. I think you know how to tell the time and how to talk about the seasons as well. Thank you very much.